Hey guys, I wanted to give you a heads up and show you something I'm using to keep an eye on my well pump. I had a problem with it last year where the uh, wire broke and it's 680 feet down. It's a two horse pump, so it's, uh, it's quite expensive to repair it. The wire and the pump cost me $4,300 even with me helping the guy pull it out. So um, turns out I had a, a small leak in the well system um, where uh, the pump was kicking on quite often during the day and I was not aware of it even though I had a pressure uh, gauge up in, uh, in my garage that I could uh, monitor if I went over and looked at it. So I found something that's better and I'm going to show it to you here. So it's called Sense. I'm just going to open the app here. Basically what it is, it's a whole house electrical uh, monitoring system that, that um, you hook to your main circuit panel and it slowly figures out what each device is uh, in your house by the electrical signature. So um, it's pretty cool. And uh, here you can see it's figured out a few things and these are the things that are running right now. I'm using 1120 watts right now. If I scroll through here, I can see what was used today. The microwave was on, the garage door was opened, uh, hair dryer. Um, here's my well pump uh, that turned on and off a couple times. Uh, garage door, some more well pump. So this goes back through my um, uh, cycle today. I, I start around 2 and it ends around 7. So let me show you what I'm doing with it and, and um, why I'm using this. I'm going to go up to devices here. I'm going to go take a look at all the devices I have. These are all the devices it's found. It labels them you know, with basic names. You can go in and change those names. Um, but most of the time it figures out exactly what it is. So down at the bottom here you see well pump. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to show it's been off for 2 hours and 32 minutes. So it finished up around 7. It's now 9.30. So that's, uh, that's nice to know. Um, shows me the wattage it would use for, per year. And then you can look at, uh, you know, year, week, day. Um, if you want to put in your cost per kilowatt, it'll calculate your actual dollar cost per year and per week and um, per month. So right at the bottom here, shows me the last 24 hours. And this is great. So I want to take a a little deep dive into here and drill down on this information. So let me sh let me shrink the screen here and get a few hours on the screen here. So uh, let me go even smaller here. So this shows uh, this is this is starts at today shows for today. This shows for yesterday. So let me open this up a little bit. And I can see at 2 a.m. my zone started, and at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. it shut off. The only thing this pump is used for is irrigation, so it really should never run other than times I'm using the, the well system. So if I go backwards through here throughout the day, yesterday and um, earlier this morning, I don't see anything until 2 o'clock. So that's nice. Now if I had had this before, I would have seen that my pump was randomly kicking on throughout the day. Now here's another thing I saw in here that, that really is um, show, shows me the benefit of using this device. Uh, I've got a short cycle problem here. So the first zone kicks on and then it, the pump kicks off for about 45 seconds and then kicks back on, kicks off, kicks on. And what that tells me is my pump is providing 10 gallons a minute but my zone's not using it. So the pump kicks on, fills the tank faster than the zone can use it. And that's short cycling. So I, I've got three on-offs there when I only need one. Next zone is fine. Next zone is fine. And then I've got another problem here where this one's short cycling a lot. I've got six on-offs there and I only should see one. So these zones are fine. These zones are fine. Here's another zone that's a problem. Here's another zone that's a problem. This, this, these zones are all fine. So what I'll probably do is try to take some of these short cycle zones and combine them together. So if uh, the first zone here is only using five gallons a minute and this one's using uh, eight gallons a minute, I'll put them both on the same uh, trigger from my uh, uh, sprinkler control and uh, as long as the pump can kind of keep up with them and, and send out enough water, they should be fine. So I'll also uh, reduce 
one of the cycle times uh, because I'm combining them and I'll keep the pump from cycling. So if I have uh, 14 zones here, I should see that pump kick on only 14 times. And I'm not. I'm seeing it kick on much more than 14 times. It's kicking on probably uh, 30 times. So right there you cut the life of the pump in half. What happens is the, the when every time the pump kicks on, it twists a little bit, the wire twists, and then over time the wire just breaks. So let me back up here and go back to uh, the main screen, show you what's what. So just, just as things change, it, uh, it shows you the, the uh, activity. Here's a, um, a real-time uh, monitor. If I shut my light off here, I've got a 35-watt drop in, in power in the house. It finds little, little changes like that. We click it back on. It shows you 39 watts back on. So um, it's real time. This this is running on my Android phone, and it works anywhere. Even if you're um, away from the house, it still works. So um, I'm going to back up here. I'll just show you this uh, this device, uh, Sense device, and uh, this is their website. Um, these guys are out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. I don't have any affiliation with them, but I have had some uh, tech support calls with them or tech support emails. They're really good guys. They're really helpful. Um, they always seem, you know, really concerned to make sure that you're happy with what's going on. They also take uh, input on um, enhancements. So they, they always come out with new software and they, they do auto, you know, kind of upgrades that you don't even see. So, um, uh, this device costs about $300. They recommend you have an electrician put it in, although it's it's very easy to put in if you're, you know, if you're handy just take the fuse panel off and clamp it on the main lugs and um, make sure that those clamps stay closed when you put the panel back on. Hook up the device to a, a 220 breaker and then um, uh, wirelessly connect it. You can use your Android phone to do the initial setup and it connects to the internet. And what they do, I believe, is they collect this data from all these various customers and when they determine what a signature on a certain device looks like they try to compare that to other people's devices and once they figure out what's what then they can quickly name new devices if they see the same power signature so a uh, really cool device it's it's uh, again it's about 300 bucks and that would have saved me about four grand if i if i knew i had this problem so um just wanted to give you a heads up on that and um, wish you good luck.